hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel so far <coughs> we discussed about the heart and the heart topic we discussed about only different five topics okay so now we will start the heart lung machine what do you mean by heart lung machine in the name itself it is there the the machine has to be there which will function as heart as well as lung together okay so where do you think we might need these kind of machines maybe during uh, heart surgery maybe it's like a bypass surgery what you might have heard okay so bypass in the sense we are bypassing the function of the heart and lung to the machine so that means during the surgery so the machine is taking care of the heart and lung function understanding so heart lung machine is nothing but it's also known as a cardiopulmonary bypass machine is a device which is used in cardiovascular surgery to temporarily take over the function of the functions of the heart and lungs so temporarily until that particular surgery is done so this particular machine should take uh, should act as a lung as well as heart now you know what lung does it purifies the air right so the machine has to purify <coughs> sorry <coughs> the air and it should constantly giving should be giving the oxygen to the body next heart what it functions the pumping so that mechanism should be done by the again by this machine that's why it is called as heart lung machine or cardio pulmonary bypass machine why it is cardio pulmonary bypass machine because cardio in the sense heart pulmonary in the sense lung bypass machine bypass in a sense because only for short period of time whenever there is a surgery is going on so this particular function the machine is functioning as heart and lung because the surgery might be on heart okay so whenever we are opening cutting the walls or uh, you know dissecting the wall valves and then the heart uh, this thing and all and then if you are opening up the valves heart valves if you want to clean up the whatever uh, the lesion or it can be some kind of you know uh, mucus which is built as we discussed in the copd okay so those things need to be cut or do need to be removed right so for example here we saw somewhere see if these kind of things uh, disease is there so these things should be removed right in that we need to operate here in lung in, in terms of lung we are talking about in terms of heart also uh, whenever it is we are in the previous uh, topic we discussed about uh, the heart so press model i guess so there uh, we discussed about various uh, chambers of the heart so in that particular heart if any issues are there then uh, if you are operating the like for example uh, uh, maybe athro uh, what do you say the atherosclerosis that means deposition of the cholesterol in the walls of the heart or the blood capillaries which can <coughs> give the more pressure to the heart during those kind of situations we need to remove those particular uh, what do you say the heart related uh, i mean the cholesterol whatever is deposited on the along the airways that need to be cleaned out right so then only it can be uh, you know uh, uh, during these kind of situations only we will use the heart lung machine or cardio pulmonary bypass machine okay so heart lung machine andre enappa andre idu hesralle helidage heart matte lung idu eradradu kelsa galanna maadbeku eradu functions anna idu maadidre adakke nam heart lung machine anta karithivi so ee heart lung machine alli nam yena idanna adanna idakke innond hesare ide cardio pulmonary bypass machine anta cardio andre heart pulmonary andre lung adaru eradradu ಮಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡಿರೋ ಎರಡು ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರೋದ ಕಾರಣ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಕಾರ್ಡಿಯೋ ಪಲ್ಮರಿ ಬೈಪಾಸ್ ಮಷಿನ್ ಅಂತ ಸಹ ಕರೀತಾರೆ ಬೈಪಾಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೇವೆ ನೀವು ಕೇಳಿರ್ಬೋದು ಬೈ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಇದು ಬೈಪಾಸ್ ಸರ್ಜರಿ ಆಗಿದೆ ಅಂತ ಆ ಮನುಷ್ಯನಿಗೆ ಅಥವಾ ಆ ಪೇಷಂಟ್ಗೆ ಅಂತ ಎಲ್ಲಾದರೂ ಕೇಳಿರ್ತೀರ ಸೊ ಅದರ ಅರ್ಥ ಸರ್ಜರಿ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರುವಾಗ ಸೊ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅದನ್ನು ಇದು ಮಾಡಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಯೂಶ್ವಲಿ ಅದು ಮಷಿನ್ ಅನ್ನು ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಿರ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಯಾವುದೋ ಒಂದು ವ್ಯಾಲ್ವ್ ಅನ್ನು ತೆಗೆದು ಅದರದ್ದು ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಷನ್ ತಪ್ಪಿಸಿ ಇನ್ನು ಬೇರೆ ಕಡೆಯಿಂದ ಕನೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಸೊ ಯೂಶ್ವಲಿ how you see the bypass roads in our this thing the similarly the blood flowing will be uh, you know will be cut down to the particular uh, the normal this thing and it will be made sure that there is a bypass that's why it is called as bypass surgery so here we call it as a uh, bypass machine because 
we are in the time in the during the uh, you know time of surgery only during the cardiovascular surgery that particular time it may be 5 hours 10 hours or maybe 2 hours or 1 hour only during that kind of particular function you know during surgery this particular heart lung machine will be used that's why it is a temporarily it will take over the function of the heart and lung andre idu kelavondu time heart yavaga surgery madta idare bypass surgery madta idare aa surgery madu time alli matra idu aa heart idu matte lung id function anna carry madbeku idu heart id function andre gottu ellarigu adu yenu blood anna pump madbeku aa tara so next namge lung id function enu now ninne class alli nodida hage lung id function enu purify maduvantaddu okay na gaali barodanna air anna purify maadi adralli iru oxygen anna blood ge hakuvantaddu matte blood alli iru carbon dioxide anna takkondu avatte vapas adanna horagade exit maduvantaddu horagade biduvantaddu so ee work anna ee machine maadbeku okay na so let's start with the points so the heart lung machine also known as a cardio cardiopulmonary bypass machine is a device which is used in cardiovascular surgery that means during the time of cardiovascular surgery it will be used to temporarily take over the functions of the heart and lungs just now i explained as in the introduction now the heart lung machine is uh, is used during open heart surgery okay one open heart surgery means you are going to open up the heart okay that means you are going to cut dissect the heart or you are going to cut the capillaries which are uh, i mean uh, uh, arteries or uh, uh, which are entering to the uh, heart or which are coming out of the heart so that's why it is used in the open heart surgery where heart function will be you know stopped so the whatever the blood supply is the coming to the heart or going from the heart will be connected to this machine understanding so that this particular machine has to give the blood pumping or it, it has to keep the blood circulation on during the whenever the open heart surgery is there that means we are opening up the heart and then they are doing the surgery so such as coronary artery bypass grafts so it can be the open heart surgeries there are many examples are there we are having caps that is nothing but coronary artery bypass graft and then we are having the valve replacement surgery that means wherever uh, the the blood capillaries capillaries are there no those are the those will act as the heart valves so if they are having uh, any damages or deformation or if they are blocked that time uh, during those time the valve replacement will be there so those uh, during those valve replacement replacement surgery also we will be using this particular uh, <coughs> machine heart lung machine next to support patient circulatory and respiratory function while the heart is stopped so whenever whatever the situation it might be if the heart and lung uh, functions are stopped uh, most probably during the turn of the surgeries okay any kind of surgery then we are using the heart lung machine understood so heart lung machine in under and the first point i'll not be second point i'll hear that is not usually maximum i'll use martha and the open heart surgery really use martha ray so open heart surgery and rain upon the now heart at the heart and the and the other day set open more tv and rather than cut money and then open money now heart earlier what are they in a problem with rather not take do what they are going to stitch murder so i think open heart surgery and they at what can on the valves of the retina a arteries of the horrible blood horrible blood on the do blood or whatever you want to do and the situation suddenly in a day number of situations on open heart surgery and the country are the example under cap g there ಆಮೇಲೆ ಕ್ಯಾಬ್ ಜಿ ಅಂದರೆ ಕೊರೋನರಿ ಆರ್ಟ್ರಿ ಬೈಪಾಸ್ ಗ್ರಾಫ್ಟ್ ಅಂತ ಆಮೇಲೆ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ ರಿಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸರ್ಜರಿ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಯಾವುದೆಲ್ಲ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಅದನ್ನ ರಿಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಏನಾದರೂ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಅದು ರಿಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಏನಕ್ಕೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಕೆಲವೊಮ್ಮೆ ಅದು ಡೆವಲಪ್ ಆಗಿ ಸರಿಯಾಗಿ ಇರಲ್ಲ ಅಥವಾ ಕೆಲವೊಮ್ಮೆ ಏನಾದರೂ ಡ್ಯಾಮೇಜ್ ಆಗೋರು ಇರ್ತದೆ ಅಥವಾ ಏನಾದರೂ ಡೆ ಕೊಲೆಸ್ಟ್ರಾಲ್ ಡೆಪಾಸಿಷನ್ ಆಗಿ ಅದು ಹಾಳಾಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಅಂಥ ಟೈಮಲ್ಲಿ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ ರಿಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾಗತ್ತೆ ಅದು ಸಿಂಥೆಟಿಕ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಆರ್ಟಿಫಿಷಿಯಲ್ ಆಗಿ ಅಥವಾ ಟಿಶ್ಯೂ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗಿಂದ ನಾವು ವ್ಯಾಲ್ವನ್ನು ಪ್ರಿಪೇರ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಅದೇ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸಿಂದ ಆ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ವನ್ನು ನಾವು ಮಾಡಿ ಮತ್ತು ಅದನ್ನು ರಿಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಮತ್ತು ಟು ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಪೇಷೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯುಲೇಟ್ರಿ ಮತ್ತು ರೆಸ್ಪಿರೇಟ್ರಿ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಬ್ಲಡ್ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಆ ಆ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಮತ್ತು ರೆಸ್ಪಿರೇಟ್ರಿ ಅದು ಲಂಗ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಆ ಕೆಲಸವನ್ನು ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಸೊ ಎರಡು ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಇದು ಬ್ಲಡ್ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಿರೇಟ್ರಿ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ವೈ ದ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಯಾವಾಗ ನಿಂತಿರುತ್ತೆ ಯಾವುದೇ ಒಂದು ಸಿಚುವೇಶನಲ್ಲಿ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ನಿಂತು ಹೋದಾಗ ಸರ್ಜರಿ ಯಾವುದೇ ಒಂದು ಸರ್ಜರಿ ಮಾಡುವಾಗ ನಮಗೆ ಈ ಮಷೀನನ್ನು ನಾವು ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾಗತ್ತೆ ಅದು ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಲಂಗ್ ಮಷೀನ್ ಸೊ ನಾವು ದ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಲಂಗ್ ಮಷೀನ್ ವರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಬೈ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯುಲೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಬ
So now the particular whatever the heart lung machine is there, no, that will not be inside our body. Mm. It will be kept outside of the, our body. Okay, by circulating the blood outside of the body through the series of tubes and pipes the, or pumps. You are having a series of pipes and tubes so that that will be kept outside. Okay, so the blood is keep on going from body to the uh, this particular machine again getting uh, pumped by the machine again it is circulating back to the the human being so like that means that means other parts of the body like the heart we are having the blood is coming from here and it is going like this now the similarly this machine will act as like this so we are having the whatever inlet is there to the uh, heart it's going and then whatever exit is there that is also coming back to the heart i mean uh, the human okay so that's how the things it works so it, so it consists of series of tubes in order to maintain make sure that the blood is flowing to the machine and coming back to the body so we need to have a series of tubes and pumps so then only we can have so pumps why we need to pump the blood so that the circulation is on okay series of tubes to in order to the uh, blood sh to should uh, should uh, flow right so for that series of tubes will be required so the blood is taken from the body oxygenated then returned back to the body that means you are taking the blood from the body you are giving the oxygen to it then return back to the body so that is the major function so you are taking the blood okay and then you are getting oxygenated by the uh, function of the lung and then you are just putting it back so this allows the heart to be stopped during the surgery without causing any harm to the patient that means the patient will not cause any problem because the lung is lung ka function and heart ka function both it is the ma 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 machine is doing that means lung what it does it will give you the oxygen so heart what it does it is doing the pumping so both this particular machine is doing understanding so illi enagutte andre the heart lung machine idu hege work agutte andre idu olagade hakuvanta machine alla patient in the horagade ittirthivi horagade ittaga enagutte namge yen kelsa madbeku idu heart heart work heart lung machine heart is function enappa you know circulation blood anna pump maartta irbeku andre continuous movement aagbeku matte lung is function eno oxygen anna add maadbeku blood alli so av eradanna idu function maadutte adakke bekagiruve namge iga heart olagade hoguvanta yavudu entry exit entry aagta irutala blood ಆ ಪೈಪ್ ಅನ್ನ ಕಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಈ ನಾವು ಈ ಪೈಪ್ಸ್ ಗೆಲ್ಲ ಜೋಡಿಸಿರ್ತೀವಿ ಟ್ಯೂಬ್ಸ್ ಗೆ ಸೊ ಆ ಟ್ಯೂಬ್ಸ್ ಇಂದ ಬ್ಲಡ್ ಡೈಲಿ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಮಷಿನ್ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಆ ಮಷಿನ್ ಇಂದ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನೇಟೆಡ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಆಡ್ ಮಾಡಿರೋ ಬ್ಲಡ್ ಇದು ಬ್ಲಡ್ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾ ಟ್ಯೂಬ್ಸ್ ಹಾಕಿರ್ತೀವಿ ಆ ಟ್ಯೂಬ್ಸ್ ಗಳು ಮತ್ತೆ ವಾಪಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಎಕ್ಸಿಟ್ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಇಂದ ಹೊರಗಡೆ ಹೋಗುವಂತ ಬ್ಲಡ್ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಆ ಟ್ಯೂಬ್ ಆ ಕ್ಯಾಪಿಲರಿಸ್ ಗೆ ಕನೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಸೊ ಅದರಿಂದ ಬ್ಲಡ್ ಬಾಡಿಯಿಂದ ಬಂದು ಮಷಿನ್ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಮಷಿನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅದು ಪಂಪ್ ಇದು ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನೇಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿಂದ ಪಂಪ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಪಂಪ್ ಆದ್ಮೇಲೆ ಅದು ವಾಪಸ್ ಬ್ಲಡ್ಗೆ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಬ್ಲಡ್ ಕ್ಯಾಪಿಲರಿಸ್ ಮುಖಾಂತರ ಎಲ್ಲ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿಗೆ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಈ ಥರ ಆಗುವಾಗ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ನಮಗೆ ಯಾವುದೇ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಇರೋಲ್ಲ ಪೇಷೆಂಟ್ಗೆ ಯಾವುದೇ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಇರೋಲ್ಲ ಈವನ್ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಮೇಲೆ ನಾವು ಈಸಿಯಾಗಿ ಸರ್ಜರಿನ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು so risks what are the risks which are uh, which, uh, obviously every technology comes with the risk so here is uh, lung uh, heart lung machine uh, uh, so does heart lung machine is so the use of the heart lung machine during the surgery carries some risk what are those risks including potential for blood clots so since you are using the machine so you cannot sometimes you may not have control over it so you might it might get uh, cause a blood clots maybe because of the air particles which which are uh, generated during the flow of the blood maybe so or bleeding so that might be also one of the problem when you are doing the open heart surgery you might start more extra bleeding that means if any other capillaries are you know cut so it may it will bleed so during that time the blood will not come to the machine only understanding or when the blood is pumping maybe because of the rate flow rate and all so uh, it is causing the capillaries to open up so that bleeding might be there or infections obviously since you are using a machine how much ever you sanitize the machine how much ever you what do you say uh, uh, what do you say uh, make sure that there is no bacteria or there is no uh, microbes which are present in this particular machine but since you are using it for at least 4 hours 3 hours and all so you might expe expect uh, no, the, uh, you know the some infection which are related to this particular uh, the machine heart lung machine so additionally what happens there may be some long term effects on the body so short time there might not be any effects but 
long term you might see some effects what are those effects like cognitive decline okay cognitive decline that are not yet fully understood cognitive decline in the sense the oral functioning of the heart and the lung will stop will, will uh, stop reducing okay so that is over a period of time it happens and it is not completely understood okay so however the use of the heart lung machine has revolutionized the field of the cardiovascular surgery that means the heart surgery it is being revolutionized because of this machine obviously we can aram se i mean you can easily open up the heart and do the functions or do the surgeries and then we can put it back this particular valves back to its its uh, uh state so that the blood will again start uh, the heart will start again functioning so we can do the all heart open heart surgeries or major surgeries which are related to the heart very you know uh, effectively we can do it so that is one of the this thing so but it also uh, allows so for more complex process but it involves more complex procedures to be performed here it's it's not simple that um, just because we are we are connecting the machine okay with the human beings you know functioning so that is very complex procedure but it's not so simple as we say by words so it uh, so, so here more complex procedures to be performed and greatly improve patient outcomes so here what happens so we even though it comes with the many risks like uh, it can be the blood clots bleeding infection cognitive decline but heart uh, this particular uh, uh, what is a lung machine has got a great impact on the particular human being so that it can greatly improve these patients outcomes that means that uh, without lung machine uh, uh, without heart lung machine we can't imagine the open heart surgery and the person is surviving rate will be very less so with heart lung machine so we can give the life like that means extra that whatever the risk was involved that can be reduced okay by using so by using this machine so ill en helta idappa andre risk ella technology alli risk irutte adhe tara idralli risk ide idralli enella risk andre blood clot agabodu bleeding agabodu infection agabodu blood clot yak andre namma machine horagade inda nam use maartta idda karana alli air bubbles create agabodu athwa bere inno yavada ondu matter idu flow rate adralli enadru vetas iddaga adu blood clot agava sadhyathegalive athwa enadru infection iddaga sa blood clot agava sadhyathegalive so amma next bleeding agabodu ee blood idu continuous agi kodta iruvaga information idu blood ana ಕಳಿಸ್ತಾ ಇರಬಹುದು ಆ ಕ್ಯಾಪಿಲರಿಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಾದರೂ ಬದಲಾವಣೆಗಳಾಗಿ ಅಥವಾ ಫ್ಲೋರಿಡ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆಗಿ ಅಥವಾ ಏನೋ ಒಂದು ರೀಸನ್ ಇಂದ ಅದು ಬ್ಲೀಡ್ ಆಗಕ್ಕೆ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಗಬಹುದು ಅಥವಾ ನೀವು ಸರ್ಜರಿ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರುವಾಗ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇರುವ ಯಾವ್ದು ಒಂದು ಇದು ಮಾಡೋ ಟೈಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬೇರೆ ಯಾವ್ದು ಕ್ಯಾಪಿಲರಿಸ್ ಏನಾದರೂ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಅದು ಬ್ಲೀಡ್ ಆಗೋ ಸಾಧ್ಯತೆಗಳಿವೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಇನ್ಫೆಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ಇದು ಅಬ್ವಿಯಸ್ಲಿ ಇದು ಹೊರಗಡೆ ಎಷ್ಟೇ ನೀವು ಅದನ್ನ ಕ್ಲೀನ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಅದು ಮಷೀನ್ ಓಕೆ ಅದು ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಬಾಡಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಇರುವಂಥದ್ದಲ್ಲ ಅಥವಾ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಬಾಡಿ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ ಆಗಿರುವಂಥದ್ದಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವುದೋ ಥರದ ಒಂದು ಏನಾದರೂ ಒಂದು ಇನ್ಫೆಕ್ಷನ್ ನಮಗೆ ಕಾಣಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಸಿಗ್ಬೋದು ಅವು ಇವೆಲ್ಲ ರಿಸ್ಕ್ ಇದೆ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಅಲ್ಲದೆ ನೀವು ತುಂಬ ದಿನ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರೆ ಕಾಗ್ನೇಟಿವ್ ಡಿಕ್ಲೈನ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಗ್ರ್ಯಾಜುವಲಿ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅದ್ರದ್ದು ನಿಮ್ಮದು ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಅಂತ ಲಂಗಿದು ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಅದನ್ನು ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಯಾಕೆ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅನ್ನೋದನ್ನು ಇನ್ನು ಸ್ಟಡಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಕರೆಕ್ಟಾಗಿ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಗಿಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಮತ್ತೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಹವೆವರ್ ಏನು ಏನೇ ಆಗಲಿ ಈ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡೋದ್ರಿಂದ ನಮಗೆ ತುಂಬಾ ಅಡ್ವಾಂಟೇಜಸ್ ಇದೆ ಈವನ್ ದೋ ತುಂಬ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲೆಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಸೀಜರ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ಆದ್ರೂ ನಮಗೆ ಪೇಷಂಟ್ ಇದು ಲೈಫನ್ನು ಉಳಿಸೋಕ್ಕೆ ಅಥವಾ ಔಟ್ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಏನು ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ತುಂಬಾ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಹೌ ದ ಕಾರ್ಡಿಯೋ ಪಲ್ಮರಿ ಬೈಪಾಸ್ ಮಷೀನ್ ವರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಮಷೀನ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ದ ಹೌ ಎಕ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ ವರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ನಾವು ವಿ ನೋ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ದ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ oxygenated blood okay here blood reservoir will be there that means blood is kept there okay these are the controllers blood controllers will be there from here we can say that the unoxygenated blood can will be removed from the body okay so this uh, whatever the blood is given here how the blood is given because here we have, we have got the setup okay so which will give you the oxygen to the blood reservoir so from blood it is it will go from here which is actually deoxygenated blood which is coming from the heart it will go to the this particular reservoirs so it comes like this and here we are having a particular setup you are giving the air oxygen here where the lung function is happening here so gas blender will be there that means it will mix up the gas 
and then gas in will be there that means it will give the oxygen inside this particular uh, chamber so where the heater or cooler will be there why because to monitor the temperature so that this particular oxygenator will give the oxygen to this particular blood in this chamber the blood comes it gets oxygen and it comes it gets out with the oxygen so here unoxygenated blood here whenever it is coming out of this chamber it will be oxygenated but because we are giving the oxygen here so here the lung function is done right now it goes back to its particular this thing valve here okay so here it is pumping right so you are pump, uh, the pumping will be there so the oxygen blood is returned to the body okay so here whatever the valves are there now here whatever is coming from outside this will be cut and this will be cut the heart will be in operation that means people, uh, doctors are doing operation here now the heart is not in connection the one the whatever the valves are the of this is coming from the body that will be connected to this uh, uh, capillary or tube and here whatever is entering that will be cut and from there it will be connected with this particular tube so that means heart is totally isolated okay so the, you are having the blood reservoir also because the whatever the unoxygenated blood is there no, that has to come and fill there and then that will be regulated that will be sent to the oxygenator where oxygen will be given then it will go, it will be pumped to the uh, return back to the body understanding so that's how the cardiopulmonary bypass machine works so this is exactly it looks this is how, exactly how it looks like so these are the control or display everything will be there which can give you the lot of information about the blood and uh, blood constituents and oxygen level all those things okay so this is how it works so uh, in Canada, if I want to explain, so this is cardio pulmonary bypass machine. This is actually work on the heart. We have a heart, blood, body, and blood. We have a tube. We have a cut. We have a heart. We have a blood. We have a heart. 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 We so, this is the heart completely isolated. So, is the so, this is the oxygen that is not connected to the heart. The heart is actually connected to the blood. So, the blood capillary is connected to the heart. So, the blood is connected to the blood. So, the blood is connected to blood reservoir. So, the blood is connected to So, the blood is connected to the blood. So, the blood is connected to the blood. So, the blood is connected to the blood. So, the the so, the oxygenator is the oxygen. The oxygen 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 is the oxygen. oxygen is the oxygen. The 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 oxygen is oxygen. The oxygen is the Lung to the uh, capillary, really, if you recall, uh, uh, the class uh, recall monitor. So, oxygenator, other uh, actor, the alveolar uh, uh, chamber, the actor, the oxygen, cigarette, blood, ke. so other red, red, and the other side, the oxygen, I think, blue and counter, the animal oxygen, illa, the lead and the oxygen, other than the pump, Marty, you know, by using uh, the again pumping machine, pump. Uh, Machine or pumping setup. So, only when you are the blood to pump your blood to oxygenated blood and other than the body in our correspond. So, the regulator cellar at the pumping use Madake. Elisa pump becante, Elisa pump becante. So, only now correct that. I can have heart lung machine on the correct. So, only lung is only calcite, heart is the circulation calcite. Here do what you can do with the heart lung machine on the correct. So, that's the representation of heart lung machine. So next topic we are having the artificial lungs that we will discuss in the next class.